Corner pin tracking is when we track four corners all independently from each other. Let's go ahead to the project panel and import a file. Control or Command I and go ahead and choose Tracking Corner Pin. Click on Open and let's create a new composition with that file. Let's zoom out and RAM preview it. And there you go, all of the corners are doing their own thing. Let's go ahead and track it. Right click the layer and choose Track Motion. In the Tracker Controls panel where it says Track Type, choose Perspective Corner Pin. And what you have now is four tracker points. Let's go ahead and position them. Tracker point one should be top left. Tracker two should be top right. Four should be bottom right. And three should be bottom left. And of course, you can always zoom in more to have a more accurate positioning of this. I'm zooming in and out by using the mouse scroll wheel. And that's pretty good. And there you go. All right. Let's go ahead and analyze forward. And as you can see, all four points are tracking independently from each other. And it's doing a pretty good job. And there you go. Let's go ahead to the project panel and import another file. Actually, let's just use one that we were using, C Plane 2, and drag it to the composition. And there you go. Perfect. Go ahead and double click the tracking corner pin layer. And let's go to the tracker controls. Click on Edit Target. Choose C Plane 2.mov and click OK and now apply. The corner pin effect gets applied to the C plane layer and it should follow it pretty well. Let's go ahead and press 0 on the numeric keypad to preview. And that's not too bad. Let me go ahead and stop it. Select the layer, press S for scale and sometimes you just need to make it a little bit larger. And there you go. That did a very, very good job tracking the corner pins.